I hope you guys are all having an outstanding day. Easy Auto Fix here and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad catalytic converter. The purpose of the catalytic converter is to convert harmful emissions coming from combustion into safer gases for the environment. Your catalytic converter will be located on the exhaust system. Here's the location on a Nissan Sentra. The first symptom you might be experiencing with a bad catalytic converter is having your check engine light on. Here's some codes related to a bad catalytic converter. You can read these codes by going to the parts store near you and they'll most likely do it for free. Or you can buy the scanner that I have that's worth it, linked in the description below. Now it's possible that you can have a bad catalytic converter with no check engine light, so let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom is a rotten egg smell while you're driving. If the honeycomb inside the catalytic converter is either broken or clogged, it won't be able to convert the smelly gas called hydrogen sulfide into an odorless gas resulting in a rotten egg smell. The third symptom is a failed emissions test. The whole purpose of the catalytic converter is to convert harmful emissions into safer gases for the environment. If it's failing, it will never be able to convert these gases, resulting in you failing the emissions test. The fourth symptom is a lack of engine performance. You're at a red light, looking at your opponent on your right. The light turns green, you floor it, only to find out you're limited to 3000 RPMs. Now this can happen if your catalytic converter is dirty or clogged. The reason why you would lose performance is because of the inability to breathe out the exhaust gases. Let me give you an example. Take a deep breath and hold your breath. Now try to take another deep breath and another. Do you feel uncomfortable? That's what a clogged cat feels like. Now try sprinting around the track with a mask on. It's going to be harder to exhale through the restriction of the air caused by the mask. This is how a dirty catalytic converter reacts. Now since the exhaust gases can't escape out efficiently through the catalytic converter, they will have nowhere to go but to stay in the combustion chamber. These gases take up space instead of air, messing up the air slash fuel ratio, preventing perfect combustion. The fifth symptom could be a rattling noise coming from your catalytic converter. The rattling noise could be a broken down honeycomb. This could be caused by a rich condition, meaning the air slash fuel ratio was not correct, having more fuel than what was actually needed. This extra fuel gets kicked into the catalytic converter, increasing the temperature to the point where it breaks the honeycomb. This is why it's super important to fix the problem right away to prevent the honeycomb from shattering, causing the rattling noise. Replacing a catalytic converter can be very expensive. If you suspect a clogged catalytic converter and want to save some money, try using the cleaning chemical in the description below before buying a new one. Marvelous! We just learned symptoms of a bad catalytic converter. If you guys like videos like this, make sure to check out my auto symptoms playlist, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.